great race. To be able uh, to do all the great things that you did at TC at, at the junior level and now say in your in less than your first full year as a pro, you've already won a world all-time best. I mean, how, how promising, how encouraging is that for the future? It's so encouraging. I remember last year I told me and Josias were like, oh yeah, we're going to run 32 next year as seniors because I wanted to break Michael Cherry's record so bad. But then, um, you know, a huge snowstorm came in and we couldn't train for a whole week and then we came in and still ran great, but it wasn't what I wanted. So to come back here and run a world record, I think that tops a high school record. Were you and Lance talking about the world record all this week? We talked about just running. We didn't talk about a world record. We actually had the same plan. It was like, he talked to me, he's like, what's your plan to come in? I was like, get out, stay out. It's like, good plan. That's what I had to do. <laughs> so take your sugar run. No, I just... I basically wanted to do it just like the uh, prelim, get out hard, stay out. I had a great guy out in lane six. My true, I truly wanted to pass him in the first chance I got, he just got out. And I just used that to kind of like slink on me along so I could go out there and just, I was, I was definitely trying to battle him. He wasn't letting go. And I'm glad he didn't let go because I, I think if he let go, I wouldn't have got that world record. Does that kind of take, take you back to what those races were like at, at, at trials, at, at the fact that, I mean, it was, you know, you were locked shoulder to shoulder, stride for stride with guys like that until the, you know, the final five, ten meters? Yeah, I, I always like those races, but you know it's more comfortable to win by a few meters <laughs> instead of like a few steps. <laughs> what, what got you over the top right at the end? Excuse me? What got you over the top at the end? Over the top, I just stick with my form. Coach always said keep your composure, and I know that if I keep my composure, they might die out. And I have a really good confidence in my endurance, so I knew if I just pumped hard and kept my stride for stride, I'd be good. Do you have a bonus for a uh, world record, or is it only for uh, you know Olympic distance events? I don't know. I might have to check with my agent. <laughs> right now, I'm just happy that I got the world record. Well, you said, you said yesterday uh, at the press conference uh, that, that first that first thing you race uh, uh, kind of aged you up a, a little bit. <laughs> you give a little bit back to the track now. I mean, uh, I mean, like I said, in just such a short span of time. I mean, uh, how, how awesome is that to be able to say, you know what? Uh, the track's not gonna get me. I'm gonna get the track. <laughs> it's always good to you know come with a loss and then bounce back. And I love you know people that say, oh yeah, he ran this. Nah. I'm coming back with a vengeance. So if you see me on a loss, just know I'm coming back harder than I started. As strong as you finished, maybe thought that maybe the 400 might be your race. I'm not touching the 400. I'm going to leave that for Josias. I'm going to stick with the 300 down. What, what, uh, what does this do for your confidence and optimism for the ones and twos? It definitely makes me excited to go outdoors. We've been practicing a lot of techniques, something I didn't really get to focus on so much outdoors because we do a whole bunch of base work. And I'm really excited to be down here uh, training in Claremont, and the, the group is really nice, the atmosphere is really welcoming, and I just felt like this was the best choice that we could have made going forward with our future.